The early 1960s saw Crane Rental Corporation supplying cranes for the construction of Cape Canaveral, NASA's launching facility. Crane Rental was also involved with the construction of the massive crawler transporters. This pair of tracked vehicles are the specialized platforms used to transport spacecraft from NASA's Vehicle Assembly Building to the necessary launch complex. For the past 50 years, Crane Rental has continued to be a part of the expansion of NASA's Space Coast facility. In 2010, NASA erected its Orion Rocket Mobile Launch Pad, as well as the renovation of Launch Pad 39B, and Crane Rental was there supplying one of its Manitowoc 18,000s. Most recently, Crane Rental Corporation took part in the landmark renovation of the Vehicle Assembly Building. The renovation was a part of the refocus of America's space program. After almost 50 years of stacking and processing the Saturn V rockets and servicing the space shuttle fleet, the VAB needed to be renovated to support the new launchers that are expected to debut within the next few years. The new designs for the VAB included the Space Launch System, a massive rocket intended to return astronauts to deep space. The building is also to be set up to host commercial rockets that are much smaller. With that in mind, engineers from the Ground Systems Development and Operations Program designed flexible systems to meet the needs of several different kinds of booster rockets. In addition, provisions were made for handling spacecraft, including NASA's Orion rocket, now in development. The challenge, the removal and transport of seven 475,000-pound platforms from within the towering NASA Vehicle Assembly Building. Crane Rental Corporation's role in the renovation was to safely move seven platforms from the VAB to a laydown yard 400 feet away. Once there, the platforms would be disassembled. Employees of Crane Rental Corporation had to receive special security clearance to go in, or even near, the VAB, as the space shuttle Atlantis was just one bay away. This staggering move required Crane Rental to provide two 18-line self-propelled Goldhofer trailers attached side by side. With 18 250-ton stools, heavy rigging chains and binders ready to transport the seven platforms, it was now time to remove the structures from the VAB. These seven huge platforms were bolted in High Bay 3 to service the Saturn V. They needed to be removed to make room for modern structures. Each platform weighed in at over 475,000 pounds. Crane rental operations policies in the VAB did not allow the Goldhofer trailers to be under the platforms while they were being lowered to the ground. And so the platforms were first brought down to the ground onto metal stools by the VAB's 227 metric ton bridge crane. Once on the ground, Crane Rental Corporation's dual-lane Goldhofer backed up under the platform and raised itself up, lifting the platform off of the metal stools. Extreme care had to be taken in this process. The Goldhofer trailer had to be precisely centered with the platform for even loading. Even more challenging was the fact that the Goldhofer had to be positioned under the unique, non-symmetrical, high center of gravity loads. Once the Goldhofer was in line with the platform, large rigging chains and binders were used to tie the platform down to the trailer. With the help of NASA engineers, Crane Rental found ideal attaching points to tie off the platform. This ensured that the load would be stable and secure during the move to the laydown yard. As the platform and the Goldhofer left the VAB, special care had to be taken to protect the ground, giving the Goldhofer a firm surface on which to drive. The route had loose gravel placed on the ground to support the massive crawler that moves the rockets from the VAB to the launch pads. An additional challenge. Soft grassy dirt between the VAB and the laydown yard posed the same problem as the loose gravel. To resolve these obstacles, 100 Durabase mats were used between the VAB and the laydown yard. This solution not only gave a smooth surface, but protected the existing ground from damage as the Goldhofer moved the massive load. A portion of fence had to be taken down, removed and reassembled for each load as the Goldhofer entered and exited the laydown yard. Real estate in the laydown yard was tight. Crane Rental Corporation continually transported in additional platforms, many of which had to be disassembled before new ones could arrive. With a tight schedule and even tighter space, there was no room for error. The entire project laying out the plastic mats, assembling the Goldhofer trailer, the lowering of the platforms, the hauling of the platforms, and the final disassembly of the Goldhofer all took a little over one month to complete. 
all right on schedule, accommodating NASA's many projects. Mission accomplished. This successful mission depended on Crane Rental implementing the following elements every step of the way to ensure a safe and successful project. Daily safety meetings, job site safety analysis for each activity, engineered matting plans, no subcontractors, no accidents, no injuries, no property damage, 0.63 EMR. This is Crane Rental Corporation. Thank you for your consideration.